Dr. Mike Dixon has come up with a diabolical plan to win his beautiful ex-girlfriend, Rochelle Shatina, back from her new love, Dr. Joseph Sonye. Kill Dr. Sonye and destroy his good name at the same time, so an embarrassed and shell-shocked Rochelle will come running back into his arms. Make it look like he committed suicide or in an act of autoerotica, end up killing himself by accident. Dr. Dixon's right-hand hitman, Dave Shepard, agrees to murder Dr. Sonye for the unholy sum of, would you believe, three silver bars, worth a total of nearly $10,000. And Dr. Dixon gives Shepard one of the silver bars up front as a down payment. And immediately goes down to the local pawn shop and cashes it in. But Shepard tells detectives in this confession that the murder would not go down like he and Dr. Dixon anticipated. Gave me a gun and wanted to know exactly where everything was going on. Then Shepard sits in a chair in Dr. Sonye's backyard in the early evening, waiting for him to come home from work. I have a bandana on, glasses, and I have my bag. In the bag is a gun with a Gatorade bottle on the tip of it, a pair of gloves, a knife, and a belt. The Gatorade bottle to act as a silencer for the gun, the knife as an emergency backup weapon, and the belt to hang Dr. Sonye. And Dr. Dixon is exchanging texts with Shepard the whole time. You know, get her done, are you surviving them? There were all kinds of things that uh, indicated exactly what was going on. But Shepard is suddenly surprised by Dr. Sonye knocking on a window inside the house, trying to get the attention of the stranger on his property. When I walked to the window, and he has lowered the window about this far from the top down. And what happens when you walk up to the window? Did he say anything to you? No, sir. I pulled the gun out of the bag with the Gatorade on it. And what happens at that point? point the weapon with the bottle at him, discharged several times. He's backing away, he trips on his feet, falls to the ground. I am in the patio. Gun discharges a couple more times. Dr. Sonye manages to get up and run down a corridor in the house. But what do you do next? I push the window in. I don't know if he's going for a gun. I don't know if I've ever hit him. I, I don't know what's happening. What happens when you go in there? Uh, what, what happens? Pretty much run around the corner as fast as I can. So I can intercept him if he has a weapon and he's going to come after me. Then Shepard sees Dr. Sonye. As I turn around down the hallway, right into the garage, he's laying on the floor, not moving, not breathing, nothing. I check his pulse in his neck. He's dead. Dr. Sonye has five bullet wounds in his body, but Shepard isn't taking any chances. I pull the knife out of my bag and I stab him in vital organs two or three, four times. The medical examiner would later find Dr. Sonye had actually been stabbed 11 times. The blood is drying on the garage floor, underneath his chest, on the left side. And Shepard hightails it from Lubbock back to Amarillo and an anxious Dr. Dixon. I go to his house. He gives me the other two parts of silver and a box of Cuban cigars. And what was his response when you explained all the details? He was happy about it. He was fine with it. He said, I sound like you got away clean. That is, until cops arrest Dr. Dixon on first degree murder charges based on Dave Shepard's confession and a wealth of evidence that includes their texts and phone calls on the night he was killed. I mean, this is arrest at 2.15 in the morning. You're under arrest, correct. Now detectives hope to get a confession from Dr. Dixon. And this is probably your only opportunity to tell me what happened, okay? Because right now, all I've got is Dave's version of events. And as you I mean, he went ahead and he told me everything. Okay? And I mean I don't know that's all I what got. everything is. I mean I don't 
Okay. Well, you've got, I have no idea what the hell's okay. going on here. Dr. Dixon plays dumb, still insisting he knows nothing about Dr. Sonier's murder. If you will talk to me, I can tell you. But if you want a lawyer, I can't talk to you. And you won't know what's going on. So it's up to you. Do you want an attorney or do you want to talk to me? Well, I don't know what's going on now. Okay. Detectives push him some more. This is not a joke. Ten million dollar bond. This is not a joke. I understand it. And I'm in the... I'm people come and put the cuffs on me and but dixon won't crack do you want an attorney before we start talking or would you want to agree and talk to me and find out what's up i want an attorney then while dave shepherd pleads guilty to his role as the hitman in dr sonier's murder and gets life without parole dr mike dixon goes to trial still maintaining his innocence Dr. Dixon had, had was charged with capital murder. Uh, we waived the death penalty because we weren't certain that a jury would give it in that particular case. And to the dismay of police, prosecutors, and Dr. Sonier's family, Dr. Dixon's trial ends in a hung jury. I didn't see how anybody who heard the same things that I heard could possibly not say guilty. We were heartbroken. But they weren't giving up. The DA knew that he had the evidence to convict this guy, and he was going to make sure that justice was served. And justice is indeed served at Dr. Dixon's retrial. That jury took about three hours and found him guilty uh, of capital murder, and that's an automatic sentence of life in prison. And I remember turning and saying, did he say guilty? Was that guilty? And it was just this wave of relief. Sonia's family gathering with our affiliate KJTV just minutes after Dr. Dixon is convicted of murder. It's everybody else's fault. No, he destroyed his family. He murdered my father. End of story. And Dixon will most likely end his life behind bars. His sentence comes without the possibility of parole. When you got that guilty verdict, was that like sweet justice? Getting that guilty verdict was everything that I needed to live my life and to move on and to feel like my dad had been given the justice that he deserved. It was an amazing feeling. I can't describe it. It's, 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 it's undescribable. Dr. Joseph Saunier could finally rest in peace. We got him. We got him, Joe. We got him. To this day, Dixon still maintains he did not order the hit on his love rival. His lawyers have filed an appeal and are hoping to get a new trial.